you guys? My name is Emma, aka Little Mix Girl, and thank you for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I post lifestyle, faith-based videos, and I post once a week. If you like those types of genres, you should click and subscribe and hit that bell button so you can get notified every time I upload. Today's video is just a current phase of January that I have been using daily i'm gonna start off with what i have been using daily for school we're back in school it's january and so the f spring <laughs> it feels cold outside so i want to say fall but the spring semester has started and so these two things right here i've been using consistently since i've been back to school so this is a happy planner you'll focus yeah this is the happy planner and it just says on the front we're all a work in progress, which I think is pretty accurate. <laughs> You're always working for a new goal, a new dream. I know for me, that is always what I'm doing. Look at that cover art. It's just so beautiful and like monotone, monochromatic. It's just very like a girly, mature look. This literally helps me to organize all of my classes, even like when I have to work, um, appointments or anything are. I just put it all in here and I'm good to go. It even helps me to organize YouTube and Instagram uploads and posts so I'm never behind. Next are tea. I used to be a big coffee drinker. I realized I am actually caffeine sensitive just a little bit. So then I just settled back with a good and old faithful green tea. All right, so this is a Japanese brand green tea that I got at a Asian food market store. Me and my mom literally love this one. She adds a little bit more extra sauce to hers. I literally just drink it plain. And this is the Yogi brand. It's the green tea and kombucha. This one I like because it has a more sweeter taste to it. This one is definitely more earthy. Green tea and tea in general is so much more better for me because it is not so caffeinated and I feel normal. I feel like I was just been slowly awakened. So now we're gonna switch to more like luxury comfort items. Ooh, that's what she looks so beautiful and pristine. So basically, I was in desperate need of a bed. If you guys remember some of my vlogs, I exposed myself. I literally still had old Hello Kitty sheets on it, um, pink sheets that got turned purple because I washed them with a purple blanket. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had, I never made my bed because I felt like there was no reason to because literally the sheets didn't fit this queen mattress. I got this comforter set from Macy's. It was on sale. It was 46, but the original was like 120. Add to cart, purchase, and it literally came here in a matter of like three days, maybe four at the top. Odor resistant, easy care fabric, and then it's antimicrobial, so therefore the sheets stay fresher, longer, which is really good if you have sensitive skin. And it's also O-E-K-O Tex, T-E-X certified, which basically means there's no harmful chemicals in the making of this comforter set. Really, really safe and clean. And I feel like it's great for somebody with super sensitive skin and just wants something that feels clean and thing to be on. The brand of this is called Clean Spaces and you can literally find it off of Macy's. So next is one of these. So this is a sleeping eye mask and it is the cutest thing ever. I believe it's from the brand The Vintage Company at Ulta. My little hair band that I wore in my get ready with me slash friendship story video it was from the same brand as this. And so they just have the cutest little prints. It's like that old 50s woman that it reminds me of. So this is the cheetah print one and it has like cute little like ruffles all around it and it blocks out 100% of light that might be coming from your curtains if you live in the city or if you live with roommates and like they're still up while you're trying to go to sleep. Literally just put these on you're good. You will not see a single thing. So next is the best Christmas gift I ever got this year. Thank you, auntie, for this. You're the best. Okay, so it is this luxury. I don't even know what you would call this magenta fuchsia rope with a fur collar neck. Literally the best thing ever. It is from Berkshire Blanket and Home Co. If you know what that brand is, comment down below and tell me so I can buy towels, sheets, 
blankets and another robe in white from this company because literally I need another robe. It is so big, it swallows me up and I just feel like I'm wearing a complete blanket while walking around the house. Next, I'm going to go to hair care that I have been using every single week when I wash my hair. So the first one is a leave-in conditioner. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this one was not the first one that I started using, but I wish it was because it is the best, most hydrating, gentle, most good smelling leave-in conditioner ever. So it is the Verb Detangle Defrizz Condition Leave-In Mist. So with this, I have been able to detangle my hair and not get those frizzies after it's all dry and it's all cute. No, have been experiencing that. It also doesn't make my hair as oily as it was with my other conditioner. It literally conditions to the point where I'm like, I feel like the oils in my hair are naturally balancing because I'm hydrating my hair while also detangling it while also preventing frizz. I think it's just a three in one. With that is the wet brush. Now you guys have probably heard about the wet brush. I don't know why I haven't tried the wet brush so much sooner because this is all I need to detangle all of this. <laughs> and it gets it done in less than two minutes. It's literally one minute, run through, run through, run through, from the ends to, to the roots first, you know, you do wanna do that. But then after I get all of my hair from the ends to the roots, I literally can just take this brush from my scalp and run it all the way down to my ends and no breakage, no snapping. It's like perfect. Now, I do want to say the hot pink is a little fifth grade for me. It reminds me of like the old brushes that I used to have. My mom would do my hair when I was little. So, eh, for the color, but for the actual quality of the brush and what it does, amazing. And then last but not least is this clip. Actually, not even just this clip. Clips in general. The claw clips are literally you're going to be your best friend if you want to put your hair up but prevent breakage and snapping that can come from having to put hair ties in your hairs and tie it back up it is just such a smart invention and i'm so glad that they're back in style and even if they go out of style i will still be wearing this literally i don't have any split ends or any breakage or anything like that all right so the next thing is a perfume and it is a splurge for me because of the type of perfume that it is. I've always wanted a nice, I'm a woman now, perfume smell. So what I did is I had a sample when I used to work at Ulta of Jimmy Choo I Want You perfume. And that was the best sample perfume I ever tried. And so I had to get the travel size version of it just so I can make sure I really like it before I invest in like the actual big size bottle because those are expensive. <laughs> Haven't even opened it yet because I literally only want to wear this perfume for special occasions. It's just such a classy, timeless, beautiful scent and it's just, it's warm but it's not like fall and winter themed warm. It's a more like warm and cozy feel. It's just so beautiful. I love this scent and I think it's going to be my everyday scent for a lot of years to come. Some of the everyday skincare items that I have been loving this January and I will be continuing to use for a very long time has one been argan oil. This is the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil and it is the four fluid ounce bottle. I don't know where you could find this. You probably have to go to QVC or something like that. So let me tell the story behind this. So my skin was so aggravated, so annoyed, so jacked up from me trying all these other skincare products that were for acne prone and oily skin. But I just needed that key ingredient that would hydrate, balance my skin, and calm down the inflammation and irritation that I was causing my skin. So my mom and my grandma use this. They swear by Josie Marin, her body butters, her face oils, her other face care products, they love it. Meanwhile, I'm sitting on the other side like, okay, if you guys love it and your skin is beautiful, what am I missing here? <laughs> so my mom was like, I have a bottle, you can have it and try it. And I was so desperate. I was like, you know what, at this point, I just need something that's gonna hydrate the skin, 
soothe it, calm it, restore it, and help it heal so that I can stop getting these reactive breakouts because I'm putting the wrong thing on my face. I use this day and night. That's how dry my skin is. I can put this over a breakout and it will literally just start healing it because what it does is it balances your sebum levels. And also, this is so great for my dry sensitive crew because it gets rid of inflammation and it also hydrates your skin to the max. I used to be a coconut oil girl. Coconut oil got nothing on argon oil. And it's just the Josie Marin one, the 100% pure argan oil. There is no additives, no preservatives, no nothing. It's just pure 100% argan oil. Currently, this winter has been so, so extremely dry. And all of a sudden, I just started breaking out in dry patches all over my neck, all over my arms. My every day, I'll just be scratching my neck, scratching my skin. And so finally, I was like, there has to be a better way to this. And so that's when I went to literally Walgreens and bought the Eucerin Eczema Prone Skin Cream Relief. If you guys suffer from eczema and extremely dry skin, and right now you're struggling because it is winter season, get this, please. Get this and just lather your whole body up. I don't put this on my face because I don't think it's gentle enough to go on my face. And there is also some interesting ingredients in here. So basically what makes this really, really amazing is there's collodial oatmeal, which is so great for people with inflamed, dry, irritated, itchy skin. And then there's ceramide 3 enriched into this. And that is just gonna hydrate, make your skin all smooth and soft and just I feel like butter. Comment down below if you've ever been a Eucerin user. I used to look at it sideways because I was just like, mm, I already know what I want to use. I don't need you. Now I'm like, nope, I see what you guys have been on and I should have hopped on the train years ago. All right, so last thing for skincare is lip balms. Now, I've been trying so many different lip balms, but I feel like this one has been the star of the show for me in January. It is by Victoria's Secret, and it is the Dewy Rose Lip Balm. I've been digging my little fingers in this every single night, and sometimes morning, to moisturize my lips, because my lips get super mega dry. So, that lip balm with the argan oil has been helping me to go to bed looking like a glazed donut, which in my personal opinion is what you want to go to bed looking like. So you can wake up the next morning not dried out. All right, and last but certainly not least is makeup. So I've just been getting back into makeup and I can't tell you how much I missed it. Here are some of my OG favorites slash current favorites for January makeup. So it is, oops, the Wet n Wild Dewy Luminous Photo Focus Foundation. It has so many names for this, but literally this is the best foundation for my dry, for my sensitive skin girls. I used to wear this in high school. Then I stopped wearing makeup because that's when I started getting breakouts. Straight away from this because I was like, oh, there's no point in me wearing makeup because it's only gonna make me look like Rocky Road and I don't wanna look like Rocky Road ice cream. Then COVID hit and we're wearing masks because I was like, there's no point of me wearing this. And by that time, this was already expired, so I just threw it out. Then I was like, wait, I wanna get back into makeup started trying so many different foundations, skin tinted moisturizers, going all the way from Becca, Bare Minerals, Cover FX, ColourPop, Glossier. Not gonna knock the brand, but it just wasn't the right product for me. Finally, we come back to good old faithful and true, and it is literally $4.99 at Walgreens. So that is literally old faithful and true. It's what I'm wearing today, and it just makes my skin look so uniformed, so tan and like bronze without even putting contour on. And I don't get that cakey dry look because it's luminous. So therefore it's just hydrating that it just sits like butter on your skin. And then to go with it is the old good and faithful too is the wet and wild, yep, mm hmm contour stick. Does anybody remember these? Used to get these from like Dollar General. Got this from Walgreens. It was $3.99. I'm like, inflation, I'm gonna need you to go away. But this is the color called Call Me Maple in 805. And I realized that they made other ones of these. Like they have an even darker contour one. They have a highlight one, a blush one. And I'm just like, whoa, where have I been? Wet and Wild has been expanding since I've left you guys. But this is literally the best contour stick 
in the world, hands down. Can't lie. I wouldn't lie to you, because that's ungodly. But besides that, I'm just like, this is the only way that I can create that sharp contour line down my nose, and then also create that contour on my cheekbones without having a big old contour streak under my cheekbones. It is so creamy and it blends out beautifully. If you guys have been struggling finding like the right contour product, I definitely suggest the Wet n Wild Contour Sticks. Next is like my favorite thing ever. It is just the cutest thing to use, especially if you're doing a no makeup makeup day or you're doing a glam makeup look. It is the Glossier Cloud Paint in the color Buff. The color Puff. It is literally the most perfect cotton candy bubble gum pink color ever. To be honest, I used to not want to have like the bubble gum blushes, but I'm going back to them because I feel like they just add that extra warmth and like happiness to your makeup. There's another one that, of this that I have that I love so much and it's so great when you want to do a natural makeup look and it's called Dusk and it's like a more like a tan orange. It's, it's like a tan color. It looks so perfect on my shade. But these are so pigmented and all you have to do is just squirt out a little bit on your hand, take a brush, warm it up, dab it on your face, or like do like three little dots here. Be very light handed with this. A little goes a lot. And the packaging, I don't know, it's just so cute. It looks like it should be like a lip product, but it's a blush, a liquid blush. I don't know, I just, I love them. All right, so this one was a I'm getting ready for Christmas party purchase and I needed a new lip color. Well, here we go. It is the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the color Peanut. It is. So geometrically cute and shaped. I just love the bottle. I love how like sharp and like edgy it is. It has like a big old M on it. I really wish you guys could see what I'm talking about. I love how one, it smells like a dessert. And then on top of it, this terracotta orange color. I just love it. It just is so pretty. <laughs> And I just thought it was a perfect little quick grab to find a new lip color. This with my brown lip liner pairs beautifully. But another thing is these do not budge. You can eat, drink, talk. These are not going anywhere. These are staying on your lips. And then finally, to set your makeup so that you look airbrushed, ready to go, and your makeup is not smudging and falling off of your skin, is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Now my only con with this is that it smells like hairspray, but I love, I love that spritz. It is amazing. <laughs> it literally just mist your face. It's not too harsh. It's not like you're running through a water machine. It is a gentle, soft mist. This literally makes your makeup not budge. They also have, I believe, a luminous sparkling one, and then there's a matte one. It is literally the best thing ever to set your makeup. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so glad that you stuck around. Listen to some of my current favorites for January. Oh, and don't forget to check down in the description box for my social media links so you can follow them. But if you guys made it to the end, you guys are the best. I love you guys so much, but God loves you even more. Don't forget to come back next week for a new video. Bye, loves.